Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil and filter on a Dodge Neon. So let's go ahead and get started. Now everything is accessible from the bottom. This car is actually pretty easy to do the oil change on. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what's needed for this video. We'll head underneath and start the process. These are the items that you'll need to complete this. First of all, you're going to need the oil. And as we saw, this vehicle takes the 5W20. I recommend full synthetic. Everyone has their different opinion on that. But what I'm using here is a high mileage full synthetic. So like I said, that's what I recommend. Next, you're going to need a cloth just to kind of wipe any oil spills or anything like that when you check the levels. So you want to make sure that you have that as well. Next, you're going to need an oil pan. You are going to need your replacement filter. In this case here, I'm just using just a cheap generic SuperTech, which is ST3614 is the number. I'll put along the bottom also the FRAM number if you want to use that as well. And then last but not least, you are going to need a 5 8 socket and ratchet to remove the oil plug. And that's all you need to get this completed. It's easier if you can get the front elevated a little bit. So what I like to do is just take a jack because you don't want to drive it up on the ramps because then you're going to need to level it back down as you're actually draining the oil. You don't want to be running the car on empty with no oil in it. So what I do is I jack the front end up, go ahead and remove the, um, the drain plug, get the filter off. And as it's draining, then I can lower it back down flat to let all of it drain out. And then I can raise it back up to put everything back in place and then lower it back down and refill it. So let's go ahead and get it up in the air so we have better access underneath. That should be high enough, so now we can go underneath and we can access everything. Let's head underneath the vehicle so we can identify everything. As we're coming along here, we kind of have a view right here. This is your oil pan here, your drain plug right here, the 5 8 We'll get on the other side and show it better. That's your oil filter right here. So you can reach everything right in this area just by lifting the car up a little bit. But let me get on the other side so you can see it better. Here's a better shot of it here. You can see the oil filter, easily accessible, and there's the drain plug just to the left of it and a little bit lower. I'm going to go ahead now, hook the uh, socket up to it. Let's see here. Sometimes a breaker bar might be needed if it's on too tight. Let me try to get a grip on it from the other side. All right. Got it loose here. All right, so now that we have it loose, I went ahead and put the pan underneath for the oil. We'll go ahead and take it off by hand, and then we'll pull it quickly, let it drain out. So here we go. Slide that a little bit better that way. And here we are. Boom. There you go. We'll let that drain out, and then we'll come back and remove the filter. While it's draining, I'm going to go ahead and lower the car. So that way we can make sure it all comes out. You don't want to leave it up on an angle and then run the risk of old oil staying in there. So we'll take it down to the ground, let it finish dripping, and we'll put the plug back in it and then take out the filter. It's almost done dripping out. You can see everything is in that oil pan there. So we're ready to go ahead and put the plug back in. I'm going to go ahead and put that in, wipe that off, and then we'll remove the filter. What I do is just wipe off the drain plug real good, get any residue and stuff off, clean it real nice before we put it back on. Let's go ahead and we're going to just hand tighten that in right now. And then once that's in here, I'm going to go ahead, wipe off. Let's wipe this off here. 
There we are. And we'll slide this a little bit out of the way so I can get the socket and ratchet in here to tighten that up. And go ahead and tighten that. Get it. You don't want to over tighten it. But you do want to tighten off so that way nothing's going to be leaking out. So, uh, there we are. Now let's remove the filter. Now to remove the filter, a lot of times you can just do them by hand, especially if you're the one that did the last oil change, because they shouldn't be over tightened. If you've taken it to like a Jiffy Lou, place it like that, sometimes they over tighten them. So if you just get a, a nice clean grip on it, like this one here is coming right off, great. So if not, you can use, they make, um, oil filter sockets and wrenches that can take it off but this one's coming off good so there we are you can see it rotating I'm gonna bring the pan back underneath because that's gonna start dripping pull that bring it down slowly here it comes it'll let it drip a little bit and then we'll pop it off Letting it drip there. And I think we're ready now to actually go ahead and uh, remove it all the way. Pull this down. And we'll unscrew it. All right. Okay, so we have the filter off. I'm going to go ahead now and clean around where it screws in. Make sure that there's no debris and residue. And then we'll go ahead and prime the, neck, the, uh, the new filter get it screwed in, and then we'll lower the car and then go ahead and fill it up with the four and a half quarts of oil that it takes if you are also doing the filter with it. So let's go ahead and do that. Always want to make sure that you examine that housing area where the oil filter screws in. Sometimes the gasket from the filter can be stuck behind and can cause an issue when you try to apply the new one and cause some major leaking. So make sure that there's nothing there causing any obstructions. This one here actually looks pretty clean. But I'm still going to go ahead and take a rag and just kind of wipe that area off before we put the new one in. Just take the rag, wipe it off there, make sure it's clean. All right. Now we're ready to put the new filter in. We're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the filter. And what we're going to do is what's known as priming the filter. We're going to go ahead and fill it with oil. And then we're going to go ahead and just lubricate this gasket here before we go ahead and screw it in place. So let's go ahead and do that. You want to fill it. Give it a little bit of time to go down. Not everyone does this. To be honest, I don't do it all the time, but it is not a bad idea because if you put the filter in without priming it, the engine runs dry just for a little bit of time because there's no oil in here. Like I said, I don't do it all the time, but it's a good practice to do that. Then I'll just take my finger and just kind of lubricate here around the gasket. And now we're ready to go ahead and put that in. Slide it right in place and go ahead and take it all the way up and you only want to hand tighten it. You don't want to over tighten it. So we have it in there. Go ahead and get a rag so we get a good grip on it. We're going to tighten it on and you want to get it as tight as you can and then go ahead and hand tighten it one complete turn around there we go all by hand like I said you don't want to over tighten it but you do want to tighten enough so it's not leaking <clears throat> there we go so let's lower the car down and then we'll go ahead and put in the four and a half quarts and wrap it up
Oil's been changed. Drain plug has been cleaned, put back on, tightened properly. The new filter has been primed to put back on. We're now ready to refill it. I've lowered the car as well. So we're going to go ahead and open up this right here. We'll go ahead and get a funnel, and then we'll put the four and a half quarts in, and then we'll start it up and wrap up this video. Funnel in. Okay. You don't want to overfill it, so what I do is get it close to the four and a half range, and then we'll check the levels and then top it off accordingly. So we have close to about maybe three quarters of a quart left. Now keep in mind, we did prime the, the filter already. So a little bit of oil went in there and you're at four and a half quarts maximum capacity with the filter. So we need to keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna check the, the levels on the dipstick and see where we're at before we put any more because we don't wanna overfill it. Clean that off. Let's go ahead and get a reading on it. And see if you can see that. But we are right on point. Perfect. So that's it. Let's go ahead and start it up. After you run the car a little bit, it's good to let the levels kind of settle back down. Check it again. And once everything circulates through, make sure that the levels are still good and then top it off accordingly if need be. Okay, well that wraps up this video on how to change the oil and filter on a Dodge Neon. I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with any projects you're working on. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please send them in. As all the support, so please like the video, subscribe to this channel as I'm constantly posting new content, and I'll see you next time.